internet so today is top five wednesday and today's top five wednesday is bookish habits now as always i'll link the group and everything down below but this one i wasn't too sure about what it was about like i had an idea which it turned out being my idea but on the actual forum laney reads laney had put there like habits that you find you do have with books like when you read them and things like that so let's get into this i have three written down and two that i've just come up with so i don't know if they all classify but they're what i could think of the first one is, which I think a lot of people do, but I'm not sure, dust jackets. I always take dust jackets off books when I'm reading them or want to read them. Like right now, I really want to read Wake Queen. So as soon as I'm in the mood, I'm picking this up. This is about to migrate into the handbag. But I always remove the dust jacket before I read a book because I don't want it getting destroyed. I just, I like having the dust jacket in clean, pristine form and kept on the bookcase usually like this so it doesn't lose its shape and I can trash the actual book. My best version of this that you can see is Snow Like Ashes because dust jacket pristine, perfect in every way. Look at that once white bookend. Just this lived in my bag. It didn't get treated very well. I, I know what kind of person I am when it comes to some things and that's why dust jackets come off. The next one would be taking it everywhere. If I'm reading a book, I will take it everywhere with me. I will clutch it. If I'm not if I'm not proactively reading it, I might leave it in my bag at work or on my desk at work. But otherwise it's taken everywhere with me. For example, this is my handbag. I usually have pretty big handbags. This is filthy and needs a wash. But even when I don't have as big of a handbag, I'll carry it. In this one, I currently have a bite-sized history of vampires that I'm carrying around because I'm reading bits of it. Um, it's just really interesting to see like the history of how vampires came to be and it's good research. But this, I always have <laughs> a writing book in my bag. This is the current one, usually the Telehide. But usually I'll put it like at the other side of that. Sometimes I have multiple books in one bag. Sometimes I have a small handbag and a bag of books. That's when you know there's a problem. The next one is I use bookmarks and I tend to keep them in books. So I always carry around at least one bookmark with me but I don't always have a bookmark in my handbag or on me. I will put random things in as bookmarks like this has poppy seed appeal. I know I have a plane ticket in one of them. It's really cool at work because occasionally they I tend to do like bits of cardboard that are about bookmark size, if not a bit thicker, and I like to use those. Random pieces of paper, I literally have some that are just thin, ted strips of paper. But like these are, have been in my bag for a while now. I just love the look of this one. Um, this is usually my chosen bookmark. I love these type of bookmarks. That is my favourite. As you can see, they're occasionally shown on my shelf when I'm reading books. I have this one in there. I don't know why. I can't really use this bookmark. It's cute. I got it off a family friend. I absolutely love it. But it is the worst. Because it's so top heavy and metal, usually it'll slip out of my book. I'm really scared to actually slip this on because I've had a terror book before. I, at the same respect with bookmarks, I try to remember my place in the book or what page I'm at whenever I put it down, especially if I know it's going to be for a while because then I can just flip to it in case something happens. I use a lot of playing cards as bookmarks too. That also goes into, I never ever ever dog ear a book. Another thing that I do with books that kind of falls into my habit of using them is when I'm reading, especially paperbacks, I always hold the book like this. Sometimes like this, but usually with some form of two fingers this end and fingers that end supporting it, um, which I don't think is weird. But I can't physically, like this book, the spine's already been broken, especially in this part because it's a really cheap version. But I just, I can't bring myself to do that. It, this hurts my soul. Bad enough like leaving a book open like this, like I love doing it, but you can't always. I will always hold my books like this in some weird form of the way. Or with two hands. But I just, I can't bend it backwards. But that came from my father, as well as the bookmarks. His fault, I'm blaming him. This is the next one actually. Whenever I'm finished reading a book or I'm not going to pick it up or something like that, I, it always goes back on the shelf where it belongs. If I'm trying to actively read it, it doesn't always live on the shelf because if I'm, I don't pick it up if it's on the shelf because it's not reading. But once I'm finished, even with videos, if you see me pull off like 10 books or these shelves completely empty, they go back in place. I remember exactly where the books go and they get put back. 
I have a pile of books down here, probably about 10, that were taken off when I was organising this. But they're all unread books. I don't know, especially if it's read, it has to go back on the shelf. My TBR I have at my computer desk in that bookshelf still. And those books aren't always the neatest, or I don't always put them back the way I should and fill the spaces. But read books on this bookshelf, on the other bookshelves, like the top two rows of my other bookshelf, sorted, pristine, perfect. The other ones aren't because I don't know how I'm going to do them right now and life is chaotic. It's not really chaotic, I just I don't know. <laughs> but when it comes to my bookshelves, the book part of it is usually always sorted. It's just everything else it is. And as you can see with this one, it's got its, its things normally. Then you have a bottle of alcohol on top of... It's at least like on top of the coaster. Then you have like deodorant products that don't live on the shelf, should be living on the vanity, but the vanity is covered in clothes. The sh the you're actually living on the other bookcase, which is why the angle's different, and I like nothing else is on there, or the things that belong on there are like all in a pile. I, it's terrible, I need to sort my life out again, but it's mainly, I'm finding right now, this is mainly getting fucked up by these motherfuckers. Um, I broke it break another bulb so I really have to invest in another one of these and then my life will just be easier. Five bookish habits? I don't know what I feel like a book habits but mm, should say buying massive amount of books. I haven't bought many books this month because I'm on a budget for books and life but I will be. <laughs> but yeah I hope you guys are having a lovely week. What are some of the habits that you have with books like do you do some things I do or do you do things differently? Are you one of the people that can bend the cover? Like I'm so jealous of people that can do it but I just can't. I also can't write in books. There's a lot of things I can't do with books. Have a lovely week. Bye. I want to know authors who have to sign their books. Do some of them have issues with it or not? I don't know. Yeah.